Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this sweater you will need a weight 3 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. This is the yarn I used. It's Drops Charisma. It's 100% wool but any yarn will do as long as it's a weight 3. So we're going to start off with our back panel, so begin by chaining 8. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into every other chain to the end. So at the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to be working into the back loops of every stitch. So into that very first stitch, place one single crochet. And then continue making one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch to the end. And then you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 67 rows completed. So now here I have my 67 rows completed. Now we're going to make single crochet all along this long edge. So we're going to begin by chaining one and make 67 single crochet. So now that you have your 67 single crochet done, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. Now this next row is going to be our pattern, it's just one row repeat. So into this very first stitch, we're going to place one single crochet. And into that same stitch, we're going to place two double crochet. So into that very first stitch, we have one single crochet and two double crochet. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches and into the next we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. So we're going to repeat that again, skip two stitches and into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet. So repeat that all the way across by skipping two stitches and then into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet. So when you reach the end of the row, you should have three stitches left. 
So we're going to skip the next two stitches and into that last stitch place one single crochet. So you're going to repeat this row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, into that very first stitch we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. Then skip the next two stitches and then into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. So keep going all the way across your row. Don't forget that when you end at the end of the row, we're going to skip two and our last stitch is going to be one single crochet. So repeat that row over and over again until your back panel measures about 21 to 22 inches. If you want it shorter, do less rows. If you want it longer, do more rows. And then once you have that done, we're going to fasten off. And then for the front panel, we're going to repeat that entire process, but you're going to do five rows less. So do the exact same thing for your back panel, but do five rows less. So now I have my front panel here and I've done five rows less. And now I have counted in 22 stitches and I've marked that 22nd stitch with a stitch marker. So continuing on from where we are, we're going to chain one, single crochet and make two double crochets into that same stitch. Then we're going to skip two and then into the next single crochet and two double crochets and repeat that all the way across until you reach the stitch marker. So here we are, we're getting close to our stitch marker. We have two stitches and then we have the stitch with our stitch marker. So skip the next two stitches and into that stitch that had the stitch marker, place one single crochet. Then chain one and then turn your work. And then we're going to continue across these stitches. Into that very first stitch, place one single crochet and two double crochet. Skip the next two stitches and into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet and repeat that all the way across. You should end the row with by skipping two stitches and placing one single crochet into that last stitch and you're going to repeat this row until you have a total of five rows completed. So right now we're on row two. So after this row, we're going to do three more rows and then we're going to fasten off. So now I have my first shoulder completed. I have fastened off and I've left a long tail. I've left about maybe seven inches. So now we're going to go over to the other side we're going to count 20, 22 stitches in, mark that 22nd stitch and into that stitch marker we're going to attach our yarn. So just remove your stitch marker, insert your hook into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it through and make a knot.
then insert your hook, pull your yarn through, then chain one into that same stitch. We're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. Skip two into the next, place one single crochet and two double crochet. And repeat that all the way across. Don't forget you end the row the row by skipping two and single crocheting into that last stitch. And repeat this row until you have a total of five rows. And then we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now your front panel should look like this. So next we're going to move on to our sleeves and we're going to begin by chaining 50. Into the second chain from the hook, place one single crochet and then single crochet into every other chain to the end. At the end of the row, we're going to chain one and then turn our work. And into that very first stitch, we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches and then into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet. So the pattern is the exact same as what we've done for the back panel and the front panel. So you're going to repeat this all the way across. You're going to skip two stitches and then into the next we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. Here we are at the end of the row, we have three stitches, so we're going to skip the next two and then into that last stitch we're going to place one single crochet. So repeat this row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, into that very first stitch we're going to place one single crochet and two double crochet. And then we're going to skip two into the next place one single crochet and two double crochet and repeat that all the way across at the end of the row we're going to skip two and then single crochet into that last stitch and repeat this row over and over again until you until your sleeve measures about 15 inches long So once your sleeve measures 15 inches long, we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. I left a tail of about 7 to 8 inches. So next we're going to start working on the ribbed cuff. This is my ribbed cuff here. And once we have that done, we're going to attach that to the bottom of this sleeve panel. So to do that ribbed cuff, all I did was I chained 21. And then into that second chain from the hook, place one single crochet. 
and then place one single crochet into every other chain. At the end of the row, chain one and then turn your work. And now we're going to be working into the back loop of every stitch. So into that very first stitch, place one single crochet into the back loop and then continue that all the way across, placing one single crochet into the back loop of every stitch. And then we're going to repeat this row until we have a total of 35 rows completed. And once you have your 35 rows done, we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now we're going to grab the main part of our sleeve and we're going to get stitch markers and hold this ribbed edge to the single crochet edge of the main sleeve. Just like so. You might have to stretch that ribbed cuff out a little bit. So once you have that done, you're going to get your yarn needle and just stitch this ribbed cuff to, to the main part of your sleeve. And once you have that done, you should have something that looks like this. So next we're going to lay our front panel on top of our back panel, just like so. And then with a yarn needle, stitch across here and on the other side. And once you have that done, we're going to lay the entire piece out flat like this with the wrong side facing up. Then we're going to grab our sleeve and we're going to mark the center stitch. And then we're going to attach this stitch marker to the shoulder seam on the main body. This is our shoulder seam right here. So just attach that stitch marker to that seam and then with your yarn needle and your tail end we're going to sew all the way across. So once you have both of your sleeves sewed on, we're going to fold our sweater over like this. And then we're going to sew down the under edge of our sleeve and down along the edge of our sweater. And repeat that on the other side. And then next we're going to single crochet around this neckline. So next we're going to attach our yarn to where the shoulder seam is just right there. 
and we're going to single crochet all the way around. So just insert your hook to where that shoulder seam is and then grab your yarn, pull that yarn through and then we're going to make a knot. Then insert your hook, pull your yarn through and then chain one. And then we're going to single crochet all the way around the entire neckline. Once you've reached all the way around, we're going to slip stitch to that very first single crochet we made. And then we're going to chain five. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then single crochet into the next three chains. Then we're going to make a slip stitch into the next two single crochet that are on our neckline. Then we're going to turn our work. You might have to do a little bit of fiddling around. You're going to skip those last two slip stitches and into the next four single crochet we're going to be working into the back loop only so make four single crochet working into the back loop only Then we're going to chain one and then turn our work and then make four single crochet working into the back loop only. And then place one slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on your neckline. Then turn your work, skip over those last two slip stitches and then work four single crochet working into the back loop only. And then repeat that, we're going to chain one, turn our work, 
make four single crochet working into the back loop only. And then place a slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on our neckline. And then we're going to repeat that. We're going to turn our work, skip over those two slip stitches and work four single crochet working into the back loop only. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, single crochet into the back loop of the next four stitches. And then place a slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on our neckline. So you're going to repeat that all the way around your neckline. You're going to turn your work, skip over those two slip stitches, work four single crochet working into the back loop only, then chain one single crochet in the back loop only, and then place a slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the neckline. And repeat that all the way around your neckline. Then fasten off, leave a long tail. I left about five inches. And then you're going to use your yarn needle and sew these two edges together. And that's your sweater completed. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog, crochetwithcarry.com. So until next time, take care.